Hey guys, welcome back to Saturday Night Movies Podcast, where friends get together to review the movie of the week. This week was Lisa's pick. Tell us what you picked and why you picked it. I picked Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Um, <laughs> I picked it because I really miss what Elmer and our friend Eric, we used to do a lot of like, let's purposely pick really horrible movies so bad that it has to be good so i went in knowing like i i want this pick and i saw killer clowns from outer space i've never watched it i've never seen anything like a picture or whatever i've just heard of it and i said let's just do this because yeah i knew it wasn't <laughs> gonna be oscar worthy you did see the trailer we watched it we did but i'm saying but before i saw the trailer i didn't know anything about this i've just, just i just picked it because i've only seen maybe i should say i've seen the like the title card on netflix and that's about it but i just remember friends like always talking about it in junior high and yeah so i went in full force with a five but knowing this is going to be garbage, so I can't take this serious. And the trailer of five. The trailer was horrible. It was horrible, I mean, but it was so horrible, it was good. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> I guess there is that separation between movies that are so, like, they don't take themselves seriously. They're just horrendous movies that I think the, the reason that you would say, oh, this is a great movie to watch is because, like you explained, you have friends together, and the whole time you're just, bashing the movie making fun of it um but when i saw this movie i'm like okay if i gotta rate this like how i rate everything else this movie just seemed well this bad. movie's like a one if we're gonna take it on the series yeah um i went in at a four uh i didn't necessarily like i watched the trailer i didn't like the look of the clowns when i saw them i just it was just like oof, this movie <laughs> what about you katie have you ever seen this movie before i've never seen it I've heard about it. The description, I gave it a one. Uh-huh. <laughs> and for the movie trailer, I gave it a two. Um, I want to say the description was very like, clowns from outer space. Okay, bye. It was like not even really a description, if I remember right. No, wait, take that back. I think that was Monster Squad. Never mind. Oh, okay, because I was going to say, um, like, there was a lot more to that description, but... Yeah, because I think it was, I th- yeah, it was Monster Squad that was just like kids battle werewolf man and Dracula or something. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> stay tuned for next week's movie. <laughs> he picks Monster Squad. So <laughs> <laughs> I went into this because you texted me because you watched it first and you were like, don't go into this movie expecting anything good. Just go into it thinking it was like a comedy, yep. like a campy type yep. horror comedy. So that's yep. what I did. I did laugh. But we'll see. Um, Want to count us down then? Yes. <laughs> In three, two, one, show your numbers. <laughs> I gave it a three. Lisa? I stay, gave it a- I gave it a six. I, it exceeded a little bit more of my expectations. I gave it a four, but that changed and- from a two because after I watched Tusk, I was like, I would rather watch this than watch Tusk. So it couldn't be lower than a three. Mm-hmm. So that's Wait, why let's I said let's see your four. number again. <laughs> if I had to pick a favorite clown, it was the little one with the green hair. Yeah. I thought yeah. he was adorable. I'm like, that definitely has to be like the kid of the group. Mm-hmm. So going on. Or the, the little whole, person. <laughs> it has to be. So like the reason why I gave it a six is because if I was to li- like go in with a serious number, right? Like I'm expecting a serious movie in a sense, you know, Um, it would be a two, like it's not a good movie, but because I wanted us to watch a movie that is so bad that it has to be good in a sense, you know, that's why I gave it a six. I would definitely recommend this for, especially today, those clowns were so creepy if junior high like during October sleepovers, you know, like things like that. Like I still think kids would get creeped out today because it was very creepy. The special effects were really good, like for the the faces, and also too, like if we do drive-ins because this also felt like a very drive-in movie. Oh yeah, I mean, like, like you watch yeah. like they'll offer like 
five movies that are driving for a quarter. Exactly. <laughs> this is one of them. Yes. <laughs> Like that's why I like that that's why I, I I gave Katie that preference preference. And I even told you but when, before we sat down, this movie does not look like it's supposed to be taken serious. It's a crappy movie that you put on knowing it's crappy and you just laugh at it. And I think it did its job. It was funny and it was campy. The acting was terrible. Horrendous. Um <laughs> You know, yeah. like acting was bad. The, the the most famous person on that set was like the sheriff, and I had only seen him in like a few other things. Oh, but, the cop Mooney. Yeah. I mean, like like I said, it, it's it was meant to just be terrible, and I think it delivered. Like, come on, the popcorn turned into those alien spermy looking things. <laughs> coming out of them. And then, like Katie, when she texted me um, that the big fat clown was like in the one in the jail cell getting like yeah he it was like um last year we reviewed scary stories to tell the dark it was like the big like i just want to hug you you know like it was was just so weird and terrible that it was good like one of our favorite movies horrible jim cotta (laughs) when that has action but it doesn't matter. <laughs> slow motion it is running. <laughs> terribly written, terribly I mean, I, acted, I, 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 but you can't take it serious. I will agree. This is one of those movies. This is like it reminds me of a movie I grew up with as a kid, Chud, where it's like there's there's monsters underneath the New York City streets and it's like they're eating homeless people. <laughs> and the 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 special effects on that one, it's just atrocious but that's why I but you argue, watch it because you're you're going in to make fun of it yes so then but my whole thing then a four is that you didn't like it um a four is i'm it, it, i don't think it was because when we watched it it wasn't in that environment with a house full of friends and just making fun of it and you know we were just watching it and i didn't feel that same type of energy and maybe I wasn't drinking. Yeah, that too. <laughs> like, like this movie, you I don't think you need to be like a fall down, like fall down drunk moment, but I think it's definitely something like throw it on, we you have some friends over, you have drinks, you know, this thing. And I, if it was me, I would make sure everybody has a bowl of popcorn if they didn't know that popcorn would be a thing. Because when they sprung out and then the one that came out of the toilet. So that popcorn was creating clowns. Yes. Because think about it, their their bodies, especially the big tall ones, were so billowy, right? That it made sense that especially when the, the clown's hands could come off, mm-hmm. you know, and things like that. Like what if they were just nothing but air and the clown itself was the head and the spinal cord? Yeah, it was just so weird. One of the most uh, <laughs> amazing pieces of dialogue in this film was when uh, they bring in the two punks that were like walking through like the college campus or whatever. And then the sheriff looks at him and says, I know you, you little fart. Probably the best line in the whole movie. I really like the other lines with um, in the opening when the two brothers were driving the ice cream truck and they were trying to sell ice cream to the people trying to like bang and like Mm -hmm. look out point. (laughs) It was just so comical it is so 80s i i, I wonder like in how this they time if they thought it was like a real movie like we're gonna make a good movie i don't think I don't so <laughs> i really don't think so i i would argue probably we're gonna make a really good movie would be next week's pick mm. you know what i'm saying like there was more serious dialogue. you had like dialogue you had dumb brothers oh. who were trying to sell ice cream to hook up with chicks and all they could get were fat chicks that wouldn't give out, but they would take in all the ice cream they wanted. I mean, it was supposed, you had like the over the top cop who hated everybody so much that he was willing to like, you know, let the world die with killer clowns. Yeah, this is like in the vein of like Attack of the Killer Tomatoes or uh, uh, what's the other one, Critters, with those little monsters that they would roll like they turn into balls. Yeah, and then roll and then they'd eat people like that. Yes. And it's like, because I also think it's like a throwback to, like I say, with the drive-in aspect where it's like the thing that came out of the swamp, the Mm -hmm. thing that came out from the bedroom, the thing. But do you, like, 
kind of going to Katie's point, do you think that back then the people at that time saw it and were like, wow, these are kind of how we look at special effects today? And back then they were like, whoa, this is this is amazing. No, like, I really you know? think that this was, this is genuinely a campy, crappy film that was put out so that people could go to the drive-ins, they could watch it and like on watch, a date. Rewind and it was a masterpiece in their time. This was such a great horror movie. <laughs> I mean, it really wasn't, but I, I I do have to say, and you even said yourself that the clowns were creepy as no, hell. No, they were creepy. And I didn't I, like them. It's like, I, I that's think. That's the best part was the yes. clowns, like their uh, prosthetics or whatever. And the set of the clown, like, tent. Like, when mm -hmm. it, it, it brought me back to the 90s when we saw, I don't know if you guys watched Are You Afraid of the Dark? But there oh, was yeah. the episode with like Bozo the Clown or something and like someone stole his red nose and they had to go through like the fun house with all the yep. weird shaped doors and the colors. It gave me that feel. And when they had the clown car and it was totally like a bug dressed like with wood making it look like different shapes. But I really like like when the one clown got out and I'm like, okay, he like, how the hell did this dude fit in there? And then on another one, I was like, oh, because it's the clown car. So there's going to be like a million of them. And sure enough, they're like, what, five? Yeah. <laughs> like when, when you saw their UFO spaceship turning, right? You it's actually not... saw the hand spinning. Yeah. It had like a top. black glove. Yeah. You could tell it was a black glove. Yeah. Yeah. I like did that's, not know that's why I don't think that this would like people be like, like I'm sure when you were a kid, you can be like, "Yeah, this stuff this scared me," mm -hmm. but I don't think it was something that's a masterpiece. I mean, this was so bad. It was. But I said like the doors when they used to go in and like spin. I started calling them salad spinners because that's what they reminded me of. I would watch this again. I'm not gonna lie. I would definitely. I would watch, watch this it again. with company. With like, yes, you know, yeah, not on friends, my own, yeah. but yeah, with like, I friends. would watch this again if there was a lot of alcohol or yep. pot involved yep. <laughs> and then I, I i'd like to experience this movie while drunk because maybe yes. it'd be like more entertaining which it's weird because i did laugh but it was like a oh my god this movie's so bad laugh yeah that's and why i laughed me, and it makes me think like that one that i keep wanting to pick but i haven't picked it yet called killer sofa is it going to be so bad? Would, it's good. I, I think that definitely <laughs> falls into that category. Exactly. Yeah. Um, we did have, uh, as usual with our movie picks, a dead animal. <laughs> they killed. Not only did they kill the dog, but they killed the balloon dog. They ran over him. <laughs> so that's a first. <laughs> um, <laughs> Even the balloons aren't safe from dog killing. <laughs> and then what about when the when the smaller clown? approached the the bike gang <laughs> he punched his head off and then he's like what you gonna do knock my black off <laughs> like i i I, so I, I i argue like like you can't take this movie seriously and that's why i went over the five mm -hmm. because it did its job of just being so bad wow. like so there was a creepy weird clown trying to lure a little girl out yeah. and, like, and I was like the oh. terrible parents the moms that weren't even paying attention mm -hmm. yeah stranger danger yeah was like when he was like doing this i was like okay he's sitting on the fence of something but then all of a sudden he was outside going like this i'm like girl did your mom not teach you stranger danger like Right. Where the fuck is your mother? And then all of a sudden the mother snatches her. Yeah, you need to eat your food. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think he was on one of those like in, like you know how like McDonald's has like those playground equipment. So it was like a yeah. park equipment. It was like like one of those like animals. It's like dee -doo, dee -doo. and then what about the clowns when they were in the convenience store and they're knocking all the shit everywhere? And then in the beginning, he was like he saw like uh, like it was a gorilla or something, like an yeah, animatronic an gorilla, and, he's and he like, was like, <laughs> <laughs> like that's why, like I I think it did its job for the campaign. So like looking at your guys's review, it makes me think that you guys didn't think it did its job. 
No, I I specifically said two separate scores. If if it was in that way that you have friends over and you're making fun of it, it's a six. But so I don't remember you hearing you say if six. You're, but if okay. you're talking about it like you know, like a literal, like film, this is supposed to be a serious, be yeah. yeah. Oh my god, yes. Like if this was like horror and gore and so good, it's like the top ten movies to watch. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, hell no. I'm sure it's on someone's top ten list of crappy I mean, movies. I gave it a three simply for the set design and the clowns. The acting was terrible. The storyline was terrible. Did you notice the scene where, like, you first see the the young cop and he's talking, and the audio almost seems dubbed? <laughs> it almost seemed like he wasn't even speaking. Like someone dubbed his lines. He, I caught like so many weird mistakes. There's that, and then there was the scene where the dad, I think, was like, uh, coming into the kids. Nope, that's not that movie. Fuck. Nope, that's, that's the next <laughs> it movie. Just, it just Damn it. it. <laughs> I, I mean, like, I don't know. So, like, uh, look, well, I remember, I remember you had mentioned a while ago that we should watch uh, the worst rated movies ever. And Killer is Clowns like is actually nine. on, it's like literally on high on that list. And when you go through and you look on online, a lot of articles say, um, Killer Clowns is on the top of best B-rated films, best worst films. This is why you need to watch him, you know. So this movie, yeah. You know, like we mentioned that the cop, he was a perfect shot shooting at the clown's noses until the very end. Then he could shoot matters. anything. Yeah. It's um, like not only is now the nose the size of a, you know, it's a giant thing and you still can't hit it. Like my favorite part of this movie i think besides the biker gang because like when he's like can i ring the bell and he like picks the bike up and smashes it and stomps it. he's like <laughs> and then like the little, the little clown pulls out his like little fighting gloves and he's like <laughs> and they don't even fucking talk they just make they random their <laughs> which i appreciated that they didn't talk like in like any kind of like native language there where they was were at. Uh, there was a scene where it almost sounded like they spoke were really? speaking english when they were knocking on the door oh yes like there was one scene where they with were the like pizza? knocking on the door for like a delivery or something yeah it's like or was it with the the valentine because there was two deliveries maybe i don't know and, it, and then the idea that they captured their to to like drink their blood right um so they're they like vampires like <laughs> cotton candy cocoons because it makes the blood sweet exactly <laughs> the and other then, thing that i really liked too was the part with the, like the old people and they were getting like the shadow puppet show and then it turned into a t-rex and ate <laughs> and then the fact that like the cop didn't believe the new boyfriend and then all of a sudden he believed because he saw the, the the truck covered in the cotton candy webs and the broken glass like all of it was just so bad did you guys find it creepy that, okay, I originally thought all these kids were in high school, like seniors in high school, but then apparently mm -hmm. they're in college or something. When the one cute cop that looks like a Ken doll was dating that one girl who's like the main character is dating her, but then when they save her from the balloon, who the hell does she hug first? The cop and not her current boyfriend. I was like, hmm. Yep. Put her back what, was in that that balloon balloon. Gonna do, what was that balloon going to do to her? Huh? What was the balloon going to do I think her? she would have just passed out because I have a feeling the people in the balloon were women probably to mate with. Oof. You know, oh my god, we, the women clowns and her boobs. Exactly. Like, oh yes, I forgot about those when they were in the ball pit and like, ha ha! <laughs> and then they were all like into it. Uh -huh. And then I like how they hid in the ice cream truck. And miraculously survived that explosion. After it blew. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, the they're dead. Freezer. And then when the big um, circus tent blew up and like turned into fireworks, I was like, okay, the cop's dead. And then all of a sudden you hear like the, and it's like the clown car. And of course, like they all survive. And I'm like, how though? Like, especially the ice cream guy car. Like that thing exploded and they were literally inside of it when it went poof. Mm -hmm. 
Magic. There you go. There you go. Magic. Of horrible writing. Like it always just. Do you think this bad. movie would have done well if, like, they took out the campiness and made it into a serious tone? I no. think so. Like if, like if they had real, like, good-looking clowns and stuff like that. I think so. But those if clowns were good, though. Those were like creepy. I don't know. How did you not know. like them? They just. I don't know. Come on, some of them weird. had drool, you know, and then when like, they would open their them teeth up, were all, like, yeah. fucked up and scary looking. Mm. I, I, I don't know why it'd be interesting really if you like took a serious tone. Yeah. It would be a terrible movie. If they remade this into like a, okay, we're going to redo Killer Cl or Killer Clowns and it's going to be a serious horror movie, it would bomb. Everyone would say it's a one because it would suck that bad. <laughs> It's you sucking. never know if it's and done they can't right. Fall back on campiness to say, okay, it's a campy horror movie, so it's supposed to be bad. So that's a six. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like if it's done correctly, like the concept that you have these, like very creepy alien. I mean, hello, it is an alien from outer space, and it kind of, like didn't he come in like in the form of a very creepy Pennywise like clown, like. If you were to literally, it depends on it. which movie you're going with because oh, the bastard Lord remake Jesus. is nothing like the original, and then the original cuts out good shit from the book. Let's not forget, it is my favorite book and movie. So, <laughs> so like, and but Pennywise is actually, yes, a celestial being, but he's also a clown spider, and we did not get a clown spider. In the remake, <laughs> we got some fucked up, weird, big head clown. Didn't he and have right. spider legs though? Yeah, it's spider legs. But but in the original in the and the book, one. we actually see him full fledged spider, no more clown body, just a giant fucking spider in a cave mm -hmm. underground, and the dead lights are in its abdomen. In the remake, it was like. I, sport, I sprouted a few more legs, and I'm still a clown. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's I just are. I just we need to do the original versus remake of it, and then I can just bitch for like an hour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> bitch fits with Katie. <laughs> Come sit down. Katie's corner. Yeah, Katie's corner, where all the bitching happens. Um, I like. I think if we were to go, because it's interesting, the one time Katie doesn't want to remake a film yeah, with today's true. special effects, true. I think that if you were to make, like, you don't have to make them into, like, aliens, per se, right? Like, the, the quintessential alien celestial beings, but, like, they are demonic clowns like that kill <laughs> and i think I, I i have been wanting a real good serious like serious film for like horror with those remember how like a couple years ago there were people that were like spotted dressed in clown outfits oh I, yeah then they were trying to scare people but it's like some some like crazy like they like like they are killer clowns, but instead of them being like from out of space, then it could just be like they're the, from Ohio. What if they were part of like what? <laughs> if, what was it? Was it Jan, what was it? The Jones? What's his name? With the Kool Aid? Jim Jones. Jim Jones. Jim Jones. It's a cult of clowns. Yes, but they think that they're from <laughs> outer space, and they're <laughs> the cotton candy. You'll die. Literally. <laughs> like he has their their flesh permanently bleached. It so like they don't so... wear makeup, they're just you know. That would be freaking awesome. And you get like surgery uh, so that you can't grow a beard. You never know, but I'm just saying. Listen, we've sat through a lot of crazy stuff. Okay, <laughs> at the end of the day, it, horror is supposed to let your imagination go to places that, in reality, you shouldn't go because you're literally harming and killing people. It's kind of like a free pass zone, right? Of reality. Pass it's literally is, or to torture people or whatever the case it's i think imaginary. The best thing, if this movie were to get a remake this is how it should happen the exact same script the exact same costume setup the exact same shitty actors 
and just remake it for this time, but like update this effects and no CGI. Everything has to be like practical effects yes. and you have to build a clown mask and mechanical popcorns that are like literally like I really like that. It was like moving and I'm like I and I literally looked at my mom and I'm like I miss this kind of effects. And even in our next week movie or next week's movie it's like all that shit's gone. Everything is CGI. It's like okay, we're going to need you to react behind this green screen that there is a monster standing in front of you. Three, two, one, go. It's no longer acting because you don't see the thing in front of you. I mean, it's, and maybe that's why a lot of movies today suck because yeah. you, you can't visually see the wolf man in front of you that you're supposed to be screaming and dying. Like, bye. I don't know. But I don't, I don't think they could really make a killer circus clown scary like yeah i think today i don't think you can and i think that's why this one circus was in on it like the clown car the pies it's very campy like i see this movie as a horror comedy instead of just horror it is a horror can't... comedy so it's then titled horror, co horror comedy oh it is I, think, okay. I believe so let me just make sure let's see but if if they were to remake it like campy and sappy like this oh no then it's not yes. horror sci-fi oh yeah no, then no horror. there's no yeah. way this is to just pass as a horror sci-fi no no it's like a end. bad sci-fi movie like <sighs> no but well, i did enjoy I, it yeah. <laughs> it's okay I, I like the rap at the end yeah <laughs> it was like it was a rap song just talking about the whole the whole plot really? yeah I think more movies need that. I think Shawshank needed that. No, do Morgan, not touch Morgan Freeman do rapping not at the touch end about Andy. Shawshank. Do not touch <laughs> Shawshank. Could you imagine? No. <laughs> oh God, here we go. It's a love ballad. <laughs> no, imagine killer clowns in the Bronx. Instead of like dropping down in California, it's like Section Eight clowns. <laughs> You know like, who you know who needs to write it? That Kawan Mills guy. <laughs> These dusty ass clowns <laughs> fucked up my dinner. Yeah, Ashy. It would be Ashy. I was just thinking killer crackheads from out of town. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So it's just a that bunch of crackheads be... coming from like Jersey. And they're like and they're like they're fiending. They're fiending. For like their next hit. But if they bite you, you become a crackhead. Yeah, so now it's zombie-ish. Nice. That's good. That's good. Copyright. <laughs> Copyright. Coming to Wombat near you. <laughs> <laughs> Wombat that. Next to our Home Depot vampires <laughs> and our hurricane alligators. Yep. Well, I don't <laughs> have anything else to say. <laughs> oh, God. I don't have anything else to say. Not oh my movie. god, now I really want to see that. <laughs> Killer Crack has ripped. <laughs> I can see it actually happen. Yeah. Oh god, you know where they would all, you know where the, the movie would begin, right? It would begin at in, Penn Station. In a, in a, no, it would begin at Penn Station. You know it would be true. When the first, first crackhead gets off the, <laughs> off the train. You know it would be true. It'd start off at Penn Station and then somehow... They would go through the subways. No, you would have like a, a sick part, like somebody coughing, and then all of a sudden, like maybe the eyes turn red. <laughs> and oh, bite oh my God. But can it be like the 80s <laughs> one where like all of a sudden they had the little CGI effect where it's like their pupils, not pupils, the irises glue, like glow. It's like, oh <gasps> man, taking from this movie, they turn people into crack rocks. <laughs> <laughs> And their spaceship is a crack pipe. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Please. <laughs> like once they bite you, you turn into a crackhead, but eventually, if you don't bite someone else, you turn into a crack rock. 
<laughs> no, I don't. Because the point of this movie was not to like convert people. The point of the movie was just to get food. <laughs> so they all, everybody just needs to be. They need to be crack rocks. But when they get become crack rocks, they have to go inside of a giant plastic baggie. Yeah, there you <laughs> because go. then you need the cocoon. There you go. There you go. Oh my god. And oh then god. and then and then instead of like the big giant swirly straw, it's like a giant epic crack pipe that goes That's into the baggie. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm just picturing that. And then everyone would scream foul. You're making fun no. of crack hits. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Because they have addictions. I was thinking, and then a crackhead comes out and bites them, and they turn into a crack rock. <laughs> that could just be part of the movie. It's like the super progressive person. <laughs> oh god! And then, or <coughs> then the sequel could be something with heroin, because then uh -huh. then you can you can stick a, like a curly a curly like like needle type thing that goes into the arm. Yes. <laughs> what about like a pot one? Nothing would happen. You just sit there and be stoned. Yeah, everyone's just <laughs> laying down stone out of their heads. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, well, do, do you want to wrap this up? Do you want to wrap this up, Katie? Like the okay. pink cocoon it is. Um, well, that's pretty much it for today's episode. Comment below. Do you want us to review a movie? Talk us into it, and maybe we'll review it. Other than that, smash the subscribe button and ring that little bell so you get notified of all new content. See y'all next week. Bye. <laughs> Crack kills. And turns into rocks. <laughs>